Murray, the parents have since unenrolled their child from the school. The mother actually took an audio recording with a principal that we're not going to air, but in that clip, the principal does admit that the child was told to bite oneself to, quote, see how that feels. She says that the teacher did not mean that in a malicious way. It's a copy of the police report that the Halbrooks feel like they've reached a dead end. They've filed a police report, got in touch with DHR and had multiple conversations with Danville Neal administrators. I began asking questions. You know, our daughter indicates she was told to bite herself multiple times. The family felt shock, outrage and concern. Their daughter Emma had the self-inflicted bite marks to prove it. I even asked her, you know, why would you do that? Why would you do this if you knew you were going to hurt yourself? And her response was that the teacher told her to. I don't know of any parent who would find this behavior acceptable for their child. Halbrook claims this situation unraveled after her daughter bit another student. But they say they were only recently told their daughter was having behavioral issues in class. And we've told the principal and superintendent she should have absolutely been punished in school for this. But the family argues biting oneself to learn a lesson is not a form of discipline. If they had known what was happening inside the walls of the classroom, Halbrook says they could have handled the initial problem together. I'm 15 minutes away. She can call or text me and I'm happy to address any issue. On their daughter's latest report card, no bad behavior is mentioned. It says, quote, Emma is such an amazing leader. We don't understand how she could be satisfactory in behavior and behavior if she's biting people. Last week, the family pulled their daughter from the school after Halbrick was told her daughter could not be moved to a different class and that the situation was resolved. Honestly, what we were hoping at the last meeting with the principal, vice principal and SRO was them to say, you know, hey, OK, this happened. We're taking care of it. We're going to relocate your daughter to another class. Mm -hmm. We still would have been very upset about the issue, but we felt it was important to try to keep her in school.